Addition and subtraction of radicals is similar to uh, adding and subtracting polynomials. So kung halimbawa meron kang 2x plus x, alam natin na pagka parehas ka ng variables, pwede mo silang i-add. Kaya 2x plus x is equal to 3x, which applies on the rule of uh, adding and subtracting radicals. Kaya kung meron kang 2 squared of 3 plus 5 squared of 3, i-add mo lang yung... Uh, um, number mo outside the radical, which is 2 plus 5, which gives you 7. At yung same radicand will just be the same value right here. Kaya yung pag in mo yung radicals na mayroong parehas na, ra na radicand, 7 squared of 3 yung lalabas. So yun yung idea nung uh, pag-add at pag-subtract ng radicals. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-add ng radicals kapag ka magkaiba yung radicand niya. So yung radicand, yun yung number sa loob ng radical. So, yung example number one ko, kung meron akong 5 squared of 7 plus squared of 7, pwede ko siyang i-add kasi pareha sila ng radicand, which is 7. So, 5 plus 1 is 6, and then you copy yung radicand, which is squared of 7. So, yan yung pag-add ng um, 2 radicals. At yung number 2 naman, nag-subtract naman ako ng 2 radicals, I have 10 squared of 5 minus 3 squared of 5. Since pareha yung radicand nila, pwede ko siyang i-combine. So, 10 minus 3 is 7 squared of 5. Now, in some cases, hindi agad-agad makakapag-add at makapag-subtract ng radicals unless pwede mong isimplify yung mga radical expression mo. Like yung number 3, I have squared of 12 plus squared of 3. So, kung i-add mo sila, hindi sila pwede kasi magkaiba sila ng radicand. So, ang gagawin mo is isimplify mo yung isa sa mga radicals or minsan pareha silang dapat mo isimplify para ma-check kung talagang hindi sila pwedeng pagsamahin. And dito sa example na to, yung squared of 12 ko, pwede ko siyang paltan into 2 squared of 3. At mapapansin nyo, parehas na sila ng radical or radicand. So, pwede mo na silang i-combine. So, 2 squared of 3 plus squared of 3 will give you 3 squared of 3. So, yan yung isa sa mga cases na kung saan, kahit hindi magkaparehas yung radicand, pwede mo pa, sil pa rin silang pagsamahin. Now, yung number 4, um, tulad ng number 3, magkaiba yung radicand nila. Yung isa squared of 8 minus squared of 18. Pero alam natin na pwede silang simplify into 2 squared of 2 at saka ito naman is 3 squared of 2. So since parehas na sila ng radicand, pwede mo na silang subtract. So 2 squared of 2 minus 3 squared of 2 will give you negative squared of 2. So ito yung case number 2 ng pag-add and subtract ng radical kapag magkaiba yung radical nila. Sa example naman na to, meron tayong uh, radicals na dapat natin multiply So, tapos na tayo mag-add at saka mag-subtract. Yun lang yung dalawang cases na kailangan yung tandaan. Magkaibang radicon at magkaparehas na radicon. So, ito naman, pag magmumultiply ng radicals, wala na tayong pakialam kung magkaiba yung radicon nila. Kasi, gagawin mo lang is multiply mo lang yung nasa loob nila. Pero gusto ko mapansin nyo yung example number 1 at example number 2 para ma-avoid nyo yung uh, extra step sa pag-multiply ng radicals. Kapag ka nag-multiply tayo ng squared of 3 times squared of 3, it gives you squared of 9 kasi 3 times 3 is 9. Tapos alam natin na squared of 9 is simply 3, kaya yung product nitong dalawang radicals na to will simply be the radicand. So yun yung isa sa mga properties na kailangan kong or gusto kong mapansin nyo. So kapag meron kayo nakita na parehas ng radicand at parehas ng index at nag-multiply kayo ng same radical, yun lang number na nasa loob ng radical symbol yung magiging sagot nyo para hindi nyo na i-multiply pa silang dalawa. So, yung number 3, magdi-distribute naman ako. I have squared of 2 times 5 plus squared of 3. Dis distribute mo yung radical na nasa labas. Squared of 2 times 5 will be 5 squared of 2. At squared of 2 times squared of 3 will be square root of 6. This should be 6. Square root of 6. So, 6 siya. And the square root of 5. Okay? And the number 5 naman... Square root of 5 times square root of 5 will be 5. Tapos square root of 5 times square root of negative 3 will be 3 square root of 5. So, hindi siya mag-iiba. So, yan yung pag-multiply ng radicals na magkakaiba yung mga radicands nila.